guys, I just wanted to do this video to explain the Grover Vine tech really quickly. I don't know how many other people did videos on it, but I'm just going to try to explain how to perform it correctly. So what it does is it manipulates your vine range to somewhere you can't vine. So for example, I can't vine there. So I'm going to be able to vine there if I use the vine tech, right? So how you do the vine tech is you cling onto a wall. So it says I can vine here, right? Simple. I can vine there. I vine onto the wall. So I'm going to, I should buy Kronos really quickly. But how you do the vine tech is that you start the animation of your vine and then you flick to where you want to vine. So let's say I want to vine there, but I can't, right? So if I let go, it doesn't vine. And if I go here, it says I can vine. So what you do is start the animation and flick to where you want vine. So I start and flick, and then it'll vine me up here. So that's how you do the vine tech. So that's basically how it does. It's usually like double the range because it's not infinite. So like, I don't think I can vine there from here. Yeah, so it's like not infinite, so I can't vine up there, right? It's about double the range. I'd say it's about double the range, so like I can't vine all the way up there. I think I can vine there though, so you just do that and manipulate the range. You start the animation and then you flick to where you want to vine. So I start the animation and then vine. It's not infinite. Again, so like I can't vine there, so that's just what you do. I can't vine there, I can vine here. So an easy way to replicate it is not the wall, but the ground, so like I can't bind there right now, so I look at the ground and then flick up, so start the animation and then flick up, and then that's an easy way to replicate the vine tech, so I just wanted to explain that really quickly, and I hope that helped you guys out, and I'll see you in game. See you later. Bye!